All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, in this tutorial, we're actually going to create the UI for the notification panel that sits up here at the top. Um, the only thing that's changed from the last video is I actually went into the main camera and changed the color to black, just so it doesn't get in the way. Well, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a UI image. I'm gonna call this the notification. Um, and I'm actually going to anchor it to the top and then I have some of these magic numbers that I just got by playing around I think it's 475 by 100 and I'm going to give it like 80 pixels off the top now I'm going to go ahead and change the sprite for this image so that circle that we imported and if you import it <coughs> have the correct settings on that circle you should get something like this I'm going to turn off this raycast since it's not really useful. Next, let's create another image. And this is going to be our little icon container. And um, it's going to just sit over here to the left. So I'm going to anchor it to the left as well. And I'm actually going to, for starters, let's, uh, let's give it some color. I had it sort of purplish. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace its sprite with a circle as well. So now you see how it matches perfectly. But I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller. Probably about 80 by 80. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a padding on the left as well. Again, no real reason to keep it a raycast target. So the next part is let's create our actual icon. So create a new image. I'm going to rename this to the icon. And then I'm going to give it uh, that trophy icon that we downloaded. Uh, the main thing is I wanted to fill up its parent and then I'm gonna give it some padding all around so it kind of fits in there. Maybe let's go with 15 and I'm gonna change its color to like something yellow or gold. Uh, again no need to keep it a right cast target and I'm also gonna enable preserve aspect. Then the next part is let's create uh, another empty, and it's called this is the container, or just <coughs> content. All right, now let's uh, make this content fill up its parent, but I am going to give it about a 100 pixel, maybe 90ish pixel, 95 border on the left, and then inside of that I'm going to go ahead and create a another text this is going to be our title text or actually just doesn't really matter what we call this <clears throat> this is the part that's going to say achievement unlocked and I'm actually going to change the font to our Roboto regular font um, let's uh, make this fill up its parent however I only wanted to be half of the parent, so I'm gonna give it zero, and then I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna center align this, and then increase the font to something a little bit bigger, uh, 28, mm, maybe 26, looks about right. <coughs> now I'm actually gonna go back into the content and add uh, a little bit more padding. <coughs> now let's duplicate that label, um, this time. Let's make it fill up half the screen, but from the bottom. So I have zero, zero, reset all this. And this is where the title goes. I'm actually going to make it a uh, Roboto medium font, so it's a bit more darker. And make it top aligned. Um, let's see. This doesn't look quite right. Um, again, you're free to mess with this to your heart content to your heart's content I'm gonna maybe make this bottom that looks a bit better <coughs> that doesn't look too bad so actually what I'm also gonna do is for this con content I wanna add a mask and this is gonna be needed so that whenever we animate this and we change the size if you look 
the the font does some funky stuff um, the text actually if I come in here and uh, change this to overflow which is what I'm actually gonna do and I'm gonna rename this to the title label when we go in here and um, start resizing this you'll see that the text runs off the screen and I want it to be cut off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a UI mask and then an image which is just gonna be a square image and I'm gonna add about a hundred pixels to the right as well padding and now if you notice uh, I don't want to show the mask whenever this gets resized the mask will actually cut off the content so what is going on here zero fifty there we go fifty that's where I want it to be and then I'm gonna change this back to 475 all right I'm actually probably make this 450 or even less but <coughs> that looks about right so now that we've created this content uh, or this notification in the next video we'll go and animate it thank you for watching see you in the next video